Here we see a login link, but we are currently logged in. So this is a link that is not dynamic. It does not change when we log in or log out. And this is what we're going to replace with a dynamic link that changes when we are logged in. This will say log out. When we're logged out, it's going to say logged in. And just to show you a further example, if I go incognito and we go to this website, we are currently not logged in incognito and it says logged in. That's what we want, obviously. But like I said, it doesn't change. So if we actually log in, which is this browser right here, it still says log in. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. Now let's get back to this one. To replace this static login link with a dynamic one, we're going to add a plugin. Let's go to the dashboard. Let's go to plugins and add new and look up login logout. There are a bunch of options you can try out. The one I use is this one. The reason I use it is it's made by WP Brigade, which is a plugin and theme, maybe not theme, but definitely plugin company. They have multiple great plugins for WordPress. And so they're going to be around for a while. They're going to keep supporting this because they're a company that wants to keep running. It also has an average of five star reviews. It's only seven reviews though. So it's not a huge sample size, 10,000 active installs compatible with the current version of WordPress. All that is gravy. I'm going to install it now. If you're doing this on a production site, you might want to back up your site first because you never know something's going to go wrong. If you back up your site, you then have something to restore if something does go wrong. It's rare, but sometimes it happens. There's a link in the description down below to a backup tutorial if you need help with that. Click on install now when you're ready, then click on activate. And this plugin is quite simple. If we go to appearance and menus, this does one thing. It adds this menu option down here, login, logout, menu. It has a bunch of different options you could add. So there's login, there's logout, there's login, logout, register, profile, and user. We're going to ignore those last three for now. The separate options for login and logout are for if you have different menus for people who are logged in and logged out. In this site right here, we just have one menu. The menu is not going to change if someone's logged in or logged out, except for the login, logout button. But if you have completely customized menus for members and non-members, these are the options you want to use here. And if you're interested in making customized menus, you just don't know how, I've got a tutorial for that. Link to it in a card up above and the description down below if you want to know how to make specific menus for logged in, logged out users, even specific menus for different user roles that are logged in. And we're going to make this one menu, like I was saying. For that, we're going to use the login, logout combination. Let's click the checkbox, click on add to menu, and this is all you need. Don't worry about this. That's going to auto populate the correct link, either login or logout. Here's where you can change the words of the login logout text in the menu. So this is how it's going to appear. Login two words, logout two words. You can change that here if you want. We could have this be login, just one word, like our other link, but I'm going to keep it as two so we can tell them apart. Then click on save menu, go back out to the front end, and we see we have our login link, which is the static one that doesn't change. And the other one here says logout which is exactly what it should be because we are logged in. Now, if we go to an incognito browser, we see it says log in now because we are logged out. And this other one, of course, didn't change. If we click on the login button, it goes to our WordPress login form. If you want to go to a custom login form, check out the tutorial in the card above and the description down below. And if we click on log out, it's going to log us out and takes us to the login form if we want to log in again. If you want people to be redirected to specific places after they log out, for example, you could have them go to the homepage or the blog or thanks for visiting or what have you, there's a simple plugin you can install to help you with that. So let me log in here again. Let's go to plugins and add new. I'm not going to show you how this plugin works in this video because I already have a video for it, but the plugin is called Peter's Login Redirect, I believe, or something similar to that. Here it is right here. This is the plugin you'd use to set specific redirects if you don't want them to go to the login page when they log out or don't want them to go to the login page when they click login. You can have special pages created for each and you'd redirect people using this plugin. I've got a tutorial for that in the card up above and the description down below. But if you're happy using those default WordPress login pages, then you are done. Just delete this one. Let's just delete that menu item. Let's go to appearance and menus and delete the one that's not dynamic. Let's remove that and save. I just kept that there for illustration purposes as we're working. Let's visit the site again. Now it just says log out 
And just to confirm, incognito, it says log in. So if you're okay with the default WordPress page for logging in and logging out, then you're all done. Next up, check out this playlist right here where I help you speed up your WordPress site beyond what you might think be possible. So check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.